Good day and welcome to our brief explanation of how to set up a BB Press forum. Uh, we're going to go this from start to finish. We're going to get you through all the basic hurdles you need to get through at the start, customizing it, setting up your login pages, so on and so forth. We're going to do this quite quickly because it's not that challenging. However, after watching a number of other people try to stumble through it, we think that a lot of people will like this. So let's get to it. I'd like to interject for just 10 seconds and ask you to click like if you found this video useful. Our site is dedicated to explaining technology in simple ways and providing cookbook answers for technical problems. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10 and Windows Server. We spend a lot of time on Azure, Office 365, but mostly our products are about how to's. Lots and lots of cookbooks like how to uninstall something when it's stuck. If you would click subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us with the Google algorithm. Thanks for your help and back to the show. We have a website called Electric Caddy, C-A-D-I, rather than C-A-D-D-Y, by the way, because I don't like Caddy spelled like that. That reminds me of a guy tooling a golf cart behind him. Anyway, so this is our website. And uh, about a year ago, uh, I decided that we would sell it. I've been sitting on it and I've now decided with uh, General Motors' giant push into electric vehicles that I would instead uh, open this up as a forum. So what I'm going to do is add BB Press. And let's just show you how to do that. So we'll get into the admin site, just log in. And uh, what you want to do is go to plugins, click in uh, add new, the top right hand corner and type in BB Press. Now, just a note, there are a lot of different uh, forum options that are available for WordPress. Uh, ones that take over the entire site, ones that uh, work with themes, ones that don't. Uh, uh, I looked at a number of them, including, of course, uh, BB Press, uh, Buddy Press. And what I'm hoping to do is to change uh, one of our websites, which is www.commodore.ca, you know, the old 8 bit computers. We want to change that forum from PHP BB, PHP Bulletin Board, into a more WordPress friendly forum. So anyway, enough of that, let's get to it. So I've already downloaded this. If you haven't already downloaded it, you simply click install now, wait for it, then just click activate when it comes up. So let's do that. And there it is. And you'll notice here, it's got a lot of information on how to import things. Not that hard to do, but we are going to skip that for the purpose of this conversation. Perhaps we'll do another one in the near future. What we want to do is get the setup and get it functional for you. So let's get moving. Uh, the first thing you want to do is create a forum. So you'll notice over here that there are now three options you didn't have before. Forums, topics, and replies. You can also note that under settings, there's a section called forums. So let's go to forums first, just to look at it. What you'll see here is that there's an automatic role that's provided uh, of participant. Well, what are the other thing? What is a spectator? What is a key master? Well, here's the answer. So a participant are the people that, can, that you'd expect. They can create and do their own stuff. Uh, and then the moderator, right? That's your admin. And then the key master is the guy that's running the entire site, right? So there is your list if you actually want more details. So let's go back to our forum. And you'll notice in here that it's telling you it defaults to having a participant user role. And that's fine, except that won't work until you make one change in your set in your general setting. So let's go do that. Click on general. And what you need to do here, click the checkbox here that says anyone can register. And you want to be very careful here that your new user default role, this is for your WordPress site in general, not the forum. So you need to make sure that that's not set to, a, to an elevated privilege. You're going to want to make sure that that's set to subscriber most likely. Now we'll go off and create our forum and I'll simply click add new. And this will be electric Cadillac forum. A place to discuss. Now looking on the far right here, we have a type of forum or a category. We want this to leave this as a forum. We do want this to be open. We want it to be public and not locked down. We don't have a parent. Now, the reason there's nothing in here is because we don't have any other forums yet. And I'm not going to specify any moderators, but I could. That's just default to me at this point. So let me just click publish. Now, let me create another forum. I'll simply click the add new here. 
and this one I'm going to call Cadillac ELR. Okay, now the parent for this, there we go, is going to be Electric Caddy Forum, Electric uh, Cadillac Forum. There we go. And I'll just click publish on that one. And I'll create one more. And I'm going to leave this as no parent, and I'll do that just so you can see what, uh, what it comes up with. Great. Okay, so I've got some forums. Now there's a whole bunch of questions. What I've got is how do I sign in? How do I register? And how do I actually add stuff? So let's look at that. If I bring up an, uh, a private window and I go to my website, electrocaddy.com, you'll see that while I've created those pages, those forums, there's no connections or logins here. What the heck is that about? Well, that's because you have to add them. So let's go do that. So let's go back to our forum and we'll go, let's add a widget. That's the easiest place to do that. To get the widget to function as you'd expect, the first thing you need to do is create a page, not a post, but a page. So let's do that. And we'll call this add new in the top left here. And we'll call this electric Cadillac forum registration. Now you think, great. Now, how do I do it? <laughs> okay. So you need to have something in here that works, right? Something that a tag that you can put in here that says, okay, now register people. You don't want to build that by yourself, but you don't have to because BB press has already built it. All you have to do is bring up a new browser tab and type in BB press shortcodes and Google or Bing will get you there. The first hit in all of these cases is going to be BB press page. And here are all of the little shortcuts that you can just put in. So there's things on the topics like showing you, you know, what topics are available for which, which ones are people are talking about. Um, you can, you know, do searches, so on and so forth. But what we care about is registration. So you simply take this code here and you can type it in by hand, but I'm just going to copy it because that's easier. Go back to your registration page and just paste it in. Now you can put other stuff in here that, you know, this is other text, right? Just garbage. You can put pictures in, you can do whatever you want, all right? Let's click uh, save on that. And now go to view it. We have that text that I put in plus a little note saying I'm already logged in. Right. Okay. So bring up a separate window, bring up a separate browser, or in my case, it just brought up an incognito uh, window and go to that same address. I'm going to paste it in and there it is. Okay, so the two notes here are that your username has to be unique. It can't be one that uh, somebody's come up with uh, before, and it can't be uh, changed after the fact. The other thing that's interesting here is that you'll notice that the username and email, but no password. That's because they're gonna send you a complex password. So the easiest way to get to, the, to, get to this is to uh, add a widget, easiest way to add a login. So easy enough to do. So let's go back to our site and select widgets, which I've just done it off the top menu, but you can do it from here as well. And all you need to do is use the BB Press login widget. So uh, my standard sidebar is here. I'm going to drag the login widget over. So I'm going to call this forum login. Now, in case you don't have, whoops, in case you don't have login, you can uh, register. And what do you mean you can register? Well, you can register right there uh, at that address that we already built, right? That I just pasted, pasted in here. Let's click save. You'll see I could just log right in. And if I didn't have an account, I could click register. How is that for cool? Now there's one more thing you probably want to add uh, before we continue, which is a password reset page because it's an admin thing. You're going to get buried with it. So just get it done right off the bat. So let's go finish that off. And again, all we do is go back to our friend at bbpress.org. There it is, bbpress, uh, the, the short codes, and we want lost pass. So again, we just create another page going to right click on that, select copy, and I'm going to go back to our Electric Caddy website and I'm going to create another page. And I think you probably figured out what this is. So all you have to do in here is paste that code. Again, I could put more text if I wanted. I could add pictures, I could add media, but, and above this, I'm going to put in, please enter your email address so we can send you 
a new password. I'll put a hole in there. And I'll get rid of this junk at the bottom, so it's not quite so ugly. Click update. And that's done. Now we'll go back to my site and I will refresh this password reset page. And now it has, please enter your email address so we can read. So off we go. We don't need to do that at this point uh, because I've got my login, I've got my password reset, I've got my register page. This is great. Now what we've got to do is add in a list of forums. So let's do that. So again, we'll just go create another page. We'll go to new, we'll just create a page right out of here. Paste in a short code that I copied from right here, BB Forum Index. So let's go call this uh, forum list, publish. Now when I view this page, there are the forums. So I've got my electric Cadillac forum, and underneath that I have my little Cadillac ELR sub forum. Let's go into general electric vehicle news. And because I'm already signed in, I can just create stuff. Now what I probably want to do is put a link in my menu at the top here. So now we'll go off to menus and I will simply add in the forum list page right there, Click add to menu, and I don't want it at the end. I want, in fact, I'm going to put it at the start because that is the most important thing that's going to be on the site. Most of this other stuff is going to get removed. So there we go. Now, if I go back to the site, you see I have forum list, I can click on it and there's the forums. So now you have your forums set up, you understand how to add them, how to manipulate them. What you do need to do, however, is probably customize it. You probably don't like the layout that's here. No problem. Let's go off to your site and go to themes. There are a whole pile of themes that you can install that are BB Press friendly. So what we're gonna do is click add new, and I'm just gonna type in BB Press up here, and you'll see there's a whole pile of forums that support BB Press uh, branding. So let's go pick this Association X one, select install, and now activate. And now let's go look at our site. See, that's pretty substantially different. Let's go to the forum list. There it is, pretty substantially different. Now there are a few, uh, few themes I wanna show you that you might find interesting. But what I'm gonna do is go back to the themes and I'm gonna add in a couple of other ones. I'm going to do this quickly uh, so you don't have to sit here and watch, but they're MagBook, Shopping Cart, Divi, and Ruby. So let's just show you those very quickly. Okay, so we've got these installed now. Let's uh, activate them and we'll show you what they look like. So I'll click Activate here to make this even faster. Uh, what I'll do is I'll bring it up in a separate browser window and let's take a look. Well, that looks a lot different, huh? Let's go to the forum list. And again, a lot different. Okay, let's uh, head off, do another one. Substantially different again. Refresh. Let's go to shopping cart. Again, so you get a pretty good idea of how this works. The websites look substantially different depending on which theme that you have. And of course, all of these themes are customizable. You change colors, so on and so forth. Uh, so that's your fastest way to get through customizing things as far as colors and overall layout goes. But there are a couple more things you want to consider. I don't like having a bunch of add-ins an extra junk that slows down my site and provides an additional attack surface for hackers to get into. But uh, I am interested in being able to customize this a little bit further. So let's take a look at two plugins. Let's go to plugins and install the plugins. And the two that I've got that uh, you're probably interested in are BB Press WP Tweaks. I'll click on that one. As it says here, it gives you more sidebar, wrapper, widgets, user columns, so on and so forth. Now let's just take a quick look at that. So we'll go to settings and up, there it is, BB WP Tweaks. And you'll see there's a whole pile of cool stuff in here uh, for you to play around with. Okay, we're not gonna go over it because we really don't need to. Uh, most people, at least initially, will not use these, but you wanna know that they're out there. And there's something more that I'm gonna show you in just a minute. So just, uh, if this isn't your thing, just hold on another minute. 
Okay, so let's go back to plugins. I'm going to disable BBWP tweaks, deactivate, bye. And I'm going to activate uh, GD BB Press Tools. That is very popular. So let's click on that and you'll see that there is a pile of tools here that get added in. Uh, in particular, you'll see under forums here, there's a section called tools. Let's go there. And you'll see here lots and lots and lots of customizations. Uh, lots of tweaks, moving the breadcrumbs, search forms, adding a lot more codes. Uh, so that's that. As far as those uh, those two plugins go, they're ones that are uh, very interesting to most people. If you want to do heavy customization, you can go into appearance and then customize. Well, let's just do that. And you can go in and you can write your own CSS. Uh, but uh, most people won't want to do that because you just use one of the stock uh, themes that are built and customize it. So how else do you add things? Well, not very hard. Go to plugins and in plugins, click add new at the top and select BB Press. And you will be floored with the number of BB Press related items here. 21 pages, 726 items relating to BB Press. So there's a lot of add-ins for this. Many of them, if not most of them are free. So if you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you or other people will. Also, you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.